<laughs> my sister makes waist beads, so definitely check her out. She was just telling me that she finished mine. Um, speaking of waist beads, look at these. You can't really see. Look at my waist beads. <laughs> but um, cream, cream products. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest using cream-based products. And I, when I mean cream-based products, I mean like, you know, like leave-in conditioners, stuff like that curling mousse whatever loose naturals use i wouldn't use that unless like it's spe specified for locks but even then you know you got to stay away from products because like i said some people just lie and say anything for the coin and so for me in my journey like i said i'm going on five years in april um i've never used any leave-in conditioners nothing like that the least i will do sometimes and this is sometimes this is uh, if I feel like my hair is super, super dry and it needs just an extra touch, I will put conditioner in my hair, but I will dilute it and keep it in my hair for like one to two minutes and then rinse it out because I don't have problem, I don't have time for build up. So yeah. So the products I've used, honestly, my whole journey, water oil. That's it. That's it. Literally, that's it. Um, My favorite oil is probably peppermint because it just leaves my hair so shiny smells nice it's i like the weight for it it's not too light but it's not too heavy like castor oil the products you use definitely will cause buildup. as far as retwisting there was a time that i wasn't retwisting with anything besides oil now i just use literally a dab of eco styling you can't even see like i'll just stick my hand and like if i look at my finger you can barely see barely see how much eco styler i use that's how little i use and it's Honestly, I could probably do without the Eco Salad because I feel like I probably don't even use enough to make it beneficial for my, you know, holding my retwist. I just try and stay to the minimal when it comes to products. You don't want to be a product junkie when it comes to your locks because your locks are like sponges and you can't easily just rinse out something of your hair like Boost Naturals can do. And so that's why for me, I just try to stick to all natural products. If you ever see me looking in another direction, it's because there's a mirror behind me. But, um, yeah that's why i just try to stick to natural products as possible you guys know i love my shea butter i love making a mixture and that's what i'm going to use in my hair today to moisturize it this is what the mixture i used to retwist my hair last time this is what it looks like when it solidifies so that's why i was saying the butter it looks like a nice butter but um yeah another thing i will say and highly encourage is always keeping your hair covered if you haven't noticed already, some certain clothes you wear will be, you know, release more length than others, especially sweaters in the winter time. And I'm not saying that to shy away from wearing certain clothes because I don't think locks should um, restrict you in any way in life. But um, I will say just be mindful of the certain materials that you're wearing because some materials will leave more length than other. Um, and that's why I said always keep your hair covered. Um, and I do, I do realize like, you know, you can't always cover your hair. You know, you walk around the office or at school, you can't have a bonnet on. But um, I'm just saying like, when you get home and you're laying in bed, keep your hair covered. Cause you know, there's, there's lint, there's dirt, there's hair. Um, you know, don't lay on the floor with your locks on the floor. I think that is like my biggest pet peeve, seeing people with locks laying on the floor. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, do you know how much stuff your locks are soaking up? Like, but um, yeah, always keep your hair covered. If you're like me and you have thickish, longish locks, get a big bonnet. I got this at one of the beauty stores here. It's one of those huge bonnets. I will say though, I really don't like wearing this anymore because this band just irritates my edges. And I feel like it low key, just to be pulling my edges too. So I really don't like wearing it anymore and I have gone back to my regular size bonnet. I have a whole bunch of bonnets. So um, shower caps, they don't work for me in the shower. So I always wear a bonnet in the shower. Another thing that I suggest doing is brushing your locks. I know there's a lot of controversy about brushing your locks, but I don't think people who have tried to brush their locks and have seen damage with it, because some people say like, don't brush your locks, it causes damage, your hair, you know, breaks. But I think that's the brushes that are like really, really hard, because I did in the past try and brush my locks with this brush, and I did notice like it was a little too tough, so I did that maybe for like a day, and then I was just like, no, because my friend was like, don't do that, brush your hair. But um, I noticed I followed this girl on Instagram, and she was talking about brushing your locks, and then she suggested how she gets like this really, really soft brush, and I was like, hmm, maybe I should just get it. I don't know, it just never registered to me to get a softer brush. So yesterday, went to the hair store 
and got this super super soft brush and i mean it's like super soft it's like soft to the point where you could you know brush a baby's head so that's what kind of soft you need like baby head soft brush no hard bristles nothing um and so yeah brushing your locks with let's see if i can get some so i'm going to show you guys so you know just brush your locks and this helps to remove lint like, and it's only lint on the surface, so surface lint, it's lint. It's not gonna get anything this deep in your locks, but I'm gonna do it and show you guys the amount of lint it will collect. Hopefully it'll collect some, cause I have been brushing my hair since I'm like, oh my gosh, lint. Oh yeah. Okay, it's, it's, I don't think it's gonna focus. How do y'all do that? You can kind of see it, all that stuff right there, that white stuff, that is lint from my hair. And I was just, I got this brush yesterday and was doing this and I was just so shook at the amount of lint that the brush actually was able to collect and like, you know, actually stay in the brush. Locks are meant to be, okay, well, whatever. Everyone has their own journey. But for me, I want to feel super free when it comes to locks. Like, I don't want to feel restricted when it comes to my hair, nothing. My locks make me feel super free. And so that's why I was saying, don't be a stickler and don't be like so, oh, my locks have to be this neat. My locks have to be blah, blah, blah. I mean, like I said, again, it's everyone's journey. But for me, and you know, if you know me, you know that I'm not pressed about having my hair done and I'm not afraid to walk out the house without a retwist at all. And so yeah, brushing your locks. This one helps a lot. I wash my hair probably once a month. Um, sometimes I do get lazy, so probably like go, the longest I probably ever went was probably two months. Um, my hair, I guess it just depends. Does it feel really, really dirty? Does it feel like, okay. Um, when my hair gets, when I know I need to wash my hair, my locks get really, really dull and just like lifeless. And so if your locks feel or look dull and you just feel like they look or feel lifeless, it's time to wash your hair. I think I got all the braids out of my hair. I think this is what my hair looks like after, oh, after I took down my braids. I can't wait to get to see where so my hair falls oh wow wow my hair falls I think the longest locks let's see the longest lock falls right here <laughs> can y'all even see yeah so um I'm excited to see where my hair takes me this year um yeah I expect to hit waist length from the back not the front I expect to hate wait Am I already at waist length? No, not yet, not quite. Little, oh, almost there, almost there. I probably, I, I was gonna say I expect to hit waist length by December this year, but it looks like my hair is going to surpass my um, expectations. And I don't think a lot of people know this about my hair journey or anything. I'm a spiritual person. You know, God says some things you have not because you ask not. And I think a lot of the times we feel really like insecure about asking God for stuff especially like stuff like that <clears throat> but i prayed for god to always grow my hair long like samson's and i haven't really told many people that but recently i have now and people are just like wow you pray over your hair they're just shook but yeah um like just whatever you want ask god for it. and so I, I wanted long hair and so i asked god to grow my hair long um yeah <laughs> so yeah and if you just take care of your hair water it like it's a plant nourish it with oil you know give it love show it love um you'll be good and you'll be growing long hair too a lot of people think i can lock my hair and not do anything that is not true and if you are one of those people your locks will fall out but um having locks is about work too just because you lock your hair doesn't mean you're not about to be doing anything don't try to fit like those small regular scrunchies. I'm trying to see if I have one. You have locks now and locks means thicker hair. Regardless if you have sister locks, regardless if you have smaller locks than mine, regardless if you have thicker locks than mine, 
you have locks now so that means more hair regardless of anything and so you don't want to be trying to fit your locks into some small little scrunchie because for one it's going to be really tight and two you're probably just going to break the scrunchie and so these are sold at walmart they're the goodie brand they work really nice y'all they're super thick super stretchy and big and so they work really nice with locks They work really nice with locks. I don't have any problem. It's not too tight. Like I said, it's not too tight at all. It's perfect. <laughs> That's ugly. <laughs> I look like a tree. Oh my gosh, I look like Coco <laughs> from Foster's Home. But um, yeah, it's not too tight at all. You got to realize that you have locks. So everything that other people are using for your hair, it might not work for your hair because your hair is thick. I'm a scrunchie person, so if you like scrunchies, scrunchies work well for locks too. They work really well. Um, and so yes, like I said, this year I'm going to be keeping my retwist to the minimal. And so let me know if you guys want me to like record this journey. I probably will anyway, so you don't even have to ask. But um, I'm going to be combining some locks also. I'm going to combine them off camera. I was going to before my sister's coming in here yelling i was going to combine them on the camera but this video is going to be super long so maybe i'll just record it and just keep it for another uh, another video i can't talk so maybe i'll just record it and keep it for another video but i think i realized <laughs> um editing i always clap it's like am i a theater but um I almost did it too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My channel is almost to 300 subscribers. And again, like I always try to say in every video, I appreciate you guys so, so much. So much. Um, and again, like I always try to say, I look forward to growing with you guys and getting to know you guys a little more. Um, again, let me know if you guys want to see anything specific about my locks or my life, whatever. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel shoot maybe even share this with somebody who's thinking about starting locks anyways make sure to follow me on instagram to keep up with me and my crazy locks in this crazy life and i'll see you guys next time